Welcome back, everybody. Today we are continuing our coin and currency collecting episodes. Today we're going to actually be talking about paper currency. We're going to be talking about U.S. notes and silver certificates. Uh, as you can see on the table, I have $5 bills, $2 bills, and $1 bills. Some have red seals, some have blue seals. Let me explain there is a difference in the type of bills based on the color of the seals. If you take a look at the $5 bills, for example. On this one, it's a red seal, but it's a United States note. This note is legal tender at space value for all debts, public and private. This is backed by the United States Federal Reserve. This one's a little bit different. Same year. By the way, both of these are 1953. Both of these are 1953. One is red and one is blue. This one is a what we call blue seal silver certificate. This is a little bit different. If back in the past, prior to 1964, you took this $5 bill, you could get it redeemed for five silver dollars. Hence the term silver certificate. This certifies that there is on deposit in the Treasury of the United States of America $5 in silver payable to the bearer on demand. You could have taken silver certificates and got them replaced for silver dollars like this right here. You could have basically got five of these. Pretty much, that's what the silver certificate did. Now, I do have $2 bills as well. These are United States notes. They're red seals. They're backed by the United States Treasury. They're not silver certificates. But they are still valuable. And they are different. Now, United States notes and silver certificates ended in the 50s. Starting in the 60s, you started getting the dollars that have the green seals. You can't go and take today's money and get silver can't take a dollar and get a silver dollar back in return. You can't do that today. No, 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 no. You used to, but you can't. But these are these are red seals. And if you come in and look at the one dollar bills, these are all silver certificates. Now I should say there is an interesting thing about the older dollars too. If you look at the backs, look at look at the back. This is nineteen thirty five. I'm going to show you. You look at the thing. This is 1935. Look at the back of the silver certificate. Does anything seem off to this? Well, I'll show you in just a minute. This is a real silver certificate. But if I come over here. That's not the one I'm looking for. Come over here. This is a silver certificate too. This one's 1957. I flip. I flip. And look. Oh. We have the word in God we trust on the 1957, but not on the 1935. Basically, any currency prior to 1957 will not have the word in God we trust on it. Anyone after 1957, including the currency today, will have in God we trust on it. So, the in God we trust on paper currency has not really gone on for that very long. If you look at the $2 bills, and both of them are 1953. One's a 1953A, and one's just a 1953. If you look at the $2 bill, again, look, there is no in God we trust. The same is going to be true for this one. There is no in God we trust. So the in God we trust is a recent development based on standards same thing with the five dollar bills this is the u.s note there is no in god we trust and normally it would be on top of that bill right on top of the lincoln memorial this is the silver certificate same thing now despite the fact that this dollar bill, this five dollar bill is a U.S. note. And this one is a 
silver certificate, besides the color of the seals, and besides it being labeled silver certificate, and this one being labeled a U.S. note, they do not look any different other than that. And they spin now exactly the same. I wouldn't recommend you go on spinning silver certificates or U.S. notes. But, I mean, that would be your choice. But they, they, they all look pretty much, with the exception of it being labeled at the top differently and having different colored seals, they're pretty much exactly the same thing. The $1 bills, they're all silver certificates. Two of them does not have the In God We Trust and one of them does. Remember, it's prior to 1957 that the dollar bills would not have In God We Trust. Any dollar after 1957 onward would. Now, that was just an interesting thing. And this is just... These currencies that I'm showing you is just more of the modern day. I haven't started doing the earlier and older currencies and large size currencies or anything like that. These are just the modern day prior to 1963 when silver certificates basically were made obsolete. That's what these are pretty much. Well... If you enjoyed this, please hit the subscribe button on the bottom and tell me if you liked it or not. Or if you don't like it, tell me how can I improve it, you know, what can I do differently, how can I improve these videos. I hope you enjoyed it though. Have a nice day.